Okay. Well, um, I guess this here is just for the archive right now, because there's nobody else on right now. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our third straight night of Let's Play Quiplash Live. Oh, shit, son. I am loving this. Um, yes. Uh, Eddie, what's up, buddy? I really don't think I, I I don't think I need to tell you the uh, drill on this because you've you've joined in plenty of games. But uh, to the wow five, we're already up to five. Nice, welcome everyone. Uh, if you want to join the game, uh, you just need to head over to Jackbox.tv. Okay, we are, and we've already got a few few people di diving in on that. That is amazing. Um, Anyway, uh, head over to jackbox.tv, throw in that code, P-W-D-A, and you can either join in the game, or if or, or if the game fills up, uh, you can join the audience. The audience is going to be necessary in the game in order to kind of help with, like, votes, if you want to try to sway the vote at all. And as I wait for people to come in, I'm going to get the thumbnail ready for this, so that way everyone else who sees this coming in will... Or anyone who sees this in their feed will see just the thumbnail. Where the hell did I put that? Here we go. Quick flash thumbnail. Alright, so who do we all got in here? I see myself, Patrick, Marcelo, Nobby, Woody, and... Pauda. I'm going to assume you named yourself after the... After, after the room code, right? <laughs> Which is totally, totally cool. Okay. So, just waiting on at least two more players. And now we have a Jizz Doctor in the house. Awesome. Let me head over to the watch page, make sure that the uh, stream is coming through fine. Uh, yes, yes it is. Alright. So let me just mute, mute my stream of this. Uh, just to make sure that the stream isn't like bogged down by anything else. Let me just close a few other things here, a few other tabs and all that fun shit. Um, okay. Alright, so out of the ten people watching, uh, we've got eight of them playing. The other two, if you're free, or well, well now it's five, because now we're up to thirteen, sweet deal. Uh, you guys are totally free to come in and join and join the audience. I think I see someone I'm gonna need to ban at, at some point, because uh they're just being a little bit of a douchebag. Let's fix that. Alright. Max. Max. That's Max McCoy. Welcome. Alright. Well, we haven't. Well, we have one person in the audience so far. That's totally fine. What do you say, guys? Are we ready for another rousing round of quiplash? Let's fucking roll. To everybody else watching, if you want to join the audience, you can join at any at at any time once more. Go to jackbox.tv and enter that code you see in the corner. And you can join the audience. Well, that's everybody, I guess. Have fun and keep your hands where I can see them. And All right, any let's do this. Any players can join the audience at any time by entering the room code. Audience members' votes count. This round one. is round one. Also, I guess I should mention for, for, for anyone who has a PS4 and has me added on their friends we'll list, uh, I currently else's. have I currently have a party going, you score a party chat going. If you want to, if you want to chat with me, you just gotta jump on your PS4 go. and uh, just jump right, just jump right into the party. Huh. So to all the people who have just come in, because I just noticed that the audience has gotten a little bit bigger while I was typing in answers, welcome to Let's Play Quiplash Live. If you want to join in the game, or at least if you want to join in the audience for this game, uh, you, ju you just got to grab your phone, your tablet, your laptop, whatever, and uh, head over to jackbox.tv, enter that code in the corner, PWDA, you will then be a part of the audience and you can vote on the answers that all of us have been typing in for the past, like, 40 seconds. So... 
believe me guys, this thing here is a lot of fun. I absolutely adore this fucking game. We got one person sort of straggling. Come on, bud. You can do it. Your first answer kind of sucks. Yeah, my answers are not exactly the best either. I, uh, I wasn't really given questions that I think were that good. Come on, dude. Two, one. Aww. Let's take a well, look. Somebody's going to get some guaranteed points. The first prompt is the worst thing to find frozen in an ice cube. All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. How exactly would you find one of those frozen in a friggin' ice cube? Like, one of them kind of makes sense, it's small enough. Or are we talking... Never mind, I am not... No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna dwell on this. Rhett, what's up, bud? room you could see in an airport would be one specifically designated for blank. Vote on your devices. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've cast, well, I've cast, well, I've cast my vote. I'm sort of curious how this one here is going is going to go. Nightmare, what's up? Right, let's see these. Really? Okay. And next is an inappropriate thing for a detective to say at a crime scene. Time to vote. Inappropriate thing for a detective to say at a crime scene. Well, hmm. Wow, decisions. Oh boy. All right, all right there, uh, Red. See ya. advice your boxing coach could give you. <laughs> well, at least the good news, dude, is that your answer was also amazing for that Next one. Next one, an obscure Surgeon General warning that most people don't know about, smoking may cause blank. It's voting time. What the hell? Technically, wouldn't fucking like one of these just sort of like cause the other one anyway? I I honestly don't know. I I I I honestly don't know if anal sex leads to anal you know scabbing, but okay. Let's see how this thing goes. Thank you. <laughs> Realistic, honest fast food slogan. Time to vote. Well, shit. Both of these are really good. Damn. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Sam Elliott probably nicknames his mustache. Vote on your devices. 
Wow, I just, I just mentally envisioned Sam Elliott saying both of those, and that's fucking hilarious. Get out there, Patrick. Awesome. Okay, next one. A good nickname for your abs. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Second place. Nice. So hopefully, if Brad is still there, he can uh, maybe actually answer this time. Holy shit, we got Let's two people dropped out, I guess. Starting things off, the worst combination of two actors that could possibly star in the next season of True Detective together. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Well... This is... Interesting. Once more, to, to everybody watching, if you want to join the audience or if you want to try to get in on the uh, next game, you just got to go to jackbox.tv. Um, if you want to join the audience right now, there is that code up up in the corner. There will be a new code for the next game. Yeah, I completely blanked on how to spell on how to spell fucking how to spell fucking Wyson's last last name, so I had to click it. <laughs> Coming up next, a bad name for an Italian restaurant. Oh boy. Time to vote. Hmm. I think I, I think I can go with this one. Just curious how long a, uh, Exactly how long a uh, delay there is between what I'm seeing and what's actually in the stream. It's almost 20 seconds. That's sad. Holy shit, it's tied. Good one, though. All right. And next, after the Heimlich maneuver, the second best way to stop someone from choking. Oh, Brad. Boo. Shame. Next in line, it's disappointing to put together a 1,000 piece puzzle and realize it's just a picture of blank. It's voting time. Huh. <laughs> 
Well, one of these, honestly, is less fucking disappointing as much as it's just absolutely, like, disgusting, so. It's disappointing to put together a thousand-piece puzzle and realize it's just a picture of blank. Alright, let's see this. Really? is the name of a law firm you shouldn't hire. Oh, come on, Marcelo. I actually was hoping for a challenge there. Next up, a horrible pickup line. Time to vote. Uh-huh. See, I actually picked the one that was just random fucking letters, because that... I don't know what in the hell K fucking Y... I don't know what KYS could possibly mean. What an alarm clock could say that would wake you right up. <laughs> Coming up next, how you can tell you're drinking really cheap wine. Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. Why the hell would KYS stand for kill? Why the hell would that stand for kill yourself? Wouldn't that then just be K and Y? Because this is you know, three, because I mean, because I mean, you know, yourself is one fucking up. word. Point values are not tripled, two. and everyone <laughs> is the same prompt this time. All right, let's see what the final prompt Your is. Prompt is an unusual object to bludgeon someone to death with. There we go. I am locked in. That also was the first time I have ever, uh, earlier, I should mention, that is the first time I have ever seen a fucking jinx in this game. I've never seen two people answer the exact same thing. Alright, we're ready. Okay, in round three, you get to award three votes. You can give them all to one answer, or spread them out. Uh-huh. Well, let's see. I'll go for that one. Actually, I'll give two votes to that one. And an unusual object to bludgeon someone to death with. Well, one of these is totally out because it says, uh, because it says up, you know, the ass. You can't really bludgeon somebody if you're violating them with it. Alright, it's time to see how everybody voted. Oh man, I actually sort of hoping I would get, you know, higher. 
However, I, I, I will say that, yeah, the phone from Noodle, I think, was the best one. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. <laughs> Boom! Check it, bitches. No. <laughs> and I had the top answer of the, you know, game game too. I am feeling happy with that. All right, let's go for some new players. Connecting to the Jackbox servers. And I'm in. Now, everybody, if you want to join in, join in this game, head over to jackbox.tv, enter that code. You can and you can hopefully either join as a player or you'll be a member of the audience. Either way, either way, everything, everything fucking works out. I love this. So, let's see who wants to join the audience quick before we get started. Already up to five. Sweet. Let's see if we can get the audience up to ten before I kick it off. There we go. Rock on. Schmitty here. You there, Schmitty? Here, yes. Hey, welcome to the pizza party, you guys. There's no pizza. Uh, I wish I hadn't given up pizza. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. All right. And Trivium, I honestly do it, I'm not able to guarantee that you are that you are going to make it into the into the next game. You just gotta be, I guess, fast enough with throwing in the uh, fucking code, you know. Okay, it's time for some quiplashing. Our first prompt is the best use for a leftover meatball. Okay, pick your favorite. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of had to go with that one. I kind of had to go with that one. Ping pong. And next is an alternate name for the Mona Lisa. Vote on your devices. <laughs> okay.
I think I may have found my, my new all-time favorite answer ever given in this fucking game. I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, man. Fucking amazing. And next, what really cracked the Liberty Bell? It's voting time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this one actually is sort of a, you know, tough one. Shit. Holy shit, we were all, it, it was almost totally, totally split. Oh, well, that is awesome. Next in line, what the Statue of Liberty is hiding beneath that robe? Time to vote. All right. Next up, it would be scary to read on a food package may contain trace elements of blank. It's voting time. Well, holy shit. You know, neither of those are really sounding very pleasing, uh, like, at all. So, just, yeesh. I've got nothing. <laughs> Okay, next one. A new completely BS holiday that greeting card companies would make up to sell more cards. Vote on your devices. Huh. <laughs> well, shit, both of these are both of these are good answers. I'm just gonna say that right now. So Next up, the best way to catch a leprechaun. Time to vote. Huh. I can kind of see where the first one was, you know, sort of going. Unfortunately, it got kind of cut off. Shit. for hillbillies it's voting time oh my god man <laughs> decisions oh my god I, I oh fuck do I have enough a coin I can flip because I don't fuck it uh, wow <laughs> I will say both these are really good
Do I have a coin I can flip around here? No, I don't see one. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. And uh, welcome to everyone who has come in since last I since last I greeted the chat. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm down in fifth place. <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> it's time for round so, two. If all points you guys want to join the, the right, if double. you guys want to join the in-game audience and you want to play along, you just gotta you just gotta grab your tablet, grab your laptop, whatever. Go to Jackbox.tv and throw in the code you see in in the corner. Bingo! I'm in. Now I'm just waiting on everybody else to answer. Alright, and... Nightmares in. The doctor is in. <laughs> All right, Craig's in. Kebert's in. Emmer is fucking. Daddy is in. Dante's in, and Clay is holding up everybody. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First one. Something you shouldn't get your significant other for Valentine's Day. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> okay, both of these are really solid. I'm just going to say that right now. See, and what my answer for this one would have been something something you shouldn't get your say you, something you shouldn't get your significant other for Valentine's Day. Herpes is usually a good answer. <laughs> You do not want to get in the herpes. Yeah, but I kind of thought that flowers and a butt fucking plug kind of won out. Unfortunately, it didn't, but hey, both of those were great answers. Next. What kittens would say if they could talk? Oh, boy. Time to vote. Uh, hmm. So, I'm going to assume somebody's watching WWE's current, you know, shit, fucking fest e event. I'm going to assume that the Shield are a trio again. You can see how much I care about that. And they misspelled Shield on top of that, but I'm not going to hold that against them. <laughs> Remember, Clay, it's I. It, the uh, no, the old rule is always you don't is always want to I find in your e. Christmas stocking. Vote on your devices. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, I would not want either of those in a Christmas stocking, just to be. Just to be totally honest with you. Boosh! Next one Superman's special power that he never tells anyone about. Time to vote. Huh. Let's, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with, uh, go with this one. Another Cosby? Yeah, I have, I have noticed over the past few days that Cosby's become a pretty common answer. 
Holy shit, the audience helped it. Well, that's all. Next in line, the secret to being a great kisser. It's voting time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say both of those are really good. It's kind of a tough one picking, picking a pick, pick, uh, picking a winner betwixt those two. So, Jimmy Hoffa. Vote on your devices. Hmm. to say it would be very hard for Hoffa to be in there because I really don't think that uh, what's her face what in the hell's the name of Trump's wife again uh, it's Melania I really okay, don't think that she's one. old enough to have been around the worst when Jimmy Hoffa show died. the blank dancers time to vote <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> I honestly am not able to um announce that both I'm, I'm really not allowed to say that both of these are good because one of them is you know mine I'm just gonna say that the other one is fucking awesome <laughs> oh shit sweet Coming up next, a crazy thing to find during a colonoscopy. It's voting time. Hmm. Well, both those are ridiculously crazy, but, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. the end of round two let's see what happened so i guess i should make this uh, statement again because i see that we've gotten a few more people in in the audience mm -hmm. i'm back and i'm back up to third uh if you want to join in the next game you gotta go over, you gotta get over and to jackbox.tv the there, there, there will be a new four letter code and you'll on the next be game the same uh for seven time. people who throw them in we'll be able to join if you want to chat Our with me is as, the worst thing to find stuck in your teeth. Hang on, let me just, uh... There we go. Alright, so, uh, and if you want to chat with me during this, during this stream, you are, you are going to need a PS4. Ah, we actually have somebody in here now. Razor, what up, buddy? Playing the game, or are you part of the audience? Oh, no, no, dude, 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 it is totally cool. I actually was sort of hoping that some people would jump into the party. In fact, I was just mentioning that during... Okay, I was mentioning that in, in the uh, stream. If you want to... Vote with your votes, now! Wow, these answers are... Uh... Hmm. All right, let me get these done. Uh, da -da -da -da. 
let's see, and we'll go that way. So, like I was saying be, be, before, if anyone else wants to join in the party, uh, I, I do currently have an open party on the PS4. You just gotta have me on your contacts, and then you're free to jump in. So, anyway, dude, what's new? Or just, you know, or just, you know, what's up? That I should, that I should, that I should try to get, uh, that, that I should try to get, I should try to get Razor Fist into the next game. I would, dude. It's just that I don't know how to really like get a hold. Of it. So, all right, sweet. That's all. Now for the final scores. <laughs> And someone and someone in the chat just said so this game is basically just cards it's basically just cards against humanity kind of except 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 you know except you know you're not like saddled with specific cards you get to type in whatever in the fuck you want oh no no dude go ahead man uh well see dude actually now the thing about this one quick flash is that is that the only person who actually needs it is whoever's hosting it. Everybody else just plays on their, you know, like, uh, everyone else just plays on their, like, laptop or their tablet or, you know, what have you, so. Or, you know, like, a laptop, a smartphone, like, whatever in the heck they got. Um, that honestly is kind of the deal. Alright, let's uh, jump into the next game. We have an audience of 15 playing. That's always that, that's always awesome. Hey -o, I'm Josh Schmitzenstein, but you can call me Schmitty. Also, you may call me Schmitty. Wow, there is a really oh, weird shit, man. energy that, in this room. That dude just, just seriously sucks. Them, okay? <laughs> Time for round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get well, more Well, see, votes now, the opponent. plus side is, no. now, the plus side to that is that, if it honestly is only the, now, if it honestly is only the motherboard, that means then you can still pull out the hard drive. So. First up, if you don't have extra money, an odd thing to use as a tip for your waiter. 
Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. <laughs> Was it? Uh, no, no. I, uh... I actually used to have it when I had the, uh, it was when I had the Xbox One, but I also found it a little bit dull and I never really got into it, so. <laughs> Next one, the worst slogan for an erectile dysfunction pill. Alright, vote on your devices. thing here guys this is just going to take me a second Terribly sorry about that, guys. I really didn't mean to cut that off. It's just that, uh, it's just that, uh, I kind of sort of had to end the party because the guy who randomly walked in was insane. And he was also kind of a So, unfortunately, we kind of missed out on that one. I am terribly sorry that and that one is a broadcast. Survival tip, start a fire by rubbing blank. Okay, let's see this. It's voting time. Huh. So, uh, someone's asking if I'm, if I'm going to do this, do this tomorrow, um, I might. I'm not really certain, though. Um, I actually am planning on just leaving this to just be kind of sort of like a Saturday night thing. So. The funny thing, guys, about this one is, if, is that if I'm not mistaken, you actually can start a fire by rubbing two ice cubes to get I believe. I did read that. Next read one. That a bad name for a hospital. Oh boy. Vote on your devices. <laughs> well. This is different. We have one hospital name that's uh, just sort of begging you to not fucking die. The other one's just promising you weed. I would not trust either of these hospitals. Substitute for a toothbrush? Time to vote! What the fuck? Uh huh. I don't even know what to say about that fucking second second one. What in the hell? What in the hell is Plaque Dragon? I'm curious. <laughs> Next up, how Garfield the cartoon cat will eventually die. It's voting time. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Okay, next one. Come up with a name for a sitcom about a bunch of wacky nuns. Vote on your devices. Okay. Um, I will say that both these are kind of sort of decent, but uh, I kind of feel I kind of feel gravitated towards one of them. I can just say that much right now. I might actually have gone with the first one if bells was spelled with a friggin' E as in, you know, like proper women bells, then it might have Round one is in the caught books. me a little let's bit see better, the scores. But, you know. Alright, let's see how the scores are turning out here. Ah, man, second place. Now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. The drama. Okay, my second answer was ridiculously dark, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now. I'm so proud of that second answer because of just how dark it fucking turned out. Yeah. Two more. You can do it, guys. I got faith in you. All right, one more. You can do it. Fifteen seconds. There we go. Let's start this show. First one, the worst job title that starts with assistant. Okay, pick your favorite. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. I thought that I was gonna win that one with Dildo with uh, Dildo fucking Wrangler. Next in line, it's bad to be buried alive. It's worse to be buried alive with blank. Time to vote. Oh man, decisions, decisions, decisions. It's obvious it's worse to be buried with Hillary and Trump than it would be to be buried with Donald. That's, uh... And next, that's another different. use for tampons. It's voting time. What the hell? Okay. All right, let's see how let's see how this fucking goes. Don't worry about it, dude. I actually am pretty good at I I am I'm usually rather decent at uh, usually decent at moderating the chat, so 
<laughs> Chuckle Fox wants to act up. Well, shit, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna either put him in timeout or block okay, him. Okay, next one. Either way, the name of a font nobody would ever use. Time to vote. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, both of those are both of those are decent. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, nigger vecta. I kind of had a feeling I was going to win. One more game? Well, yeah, dude. Of course. We've only been going for about an hour. I can totally Next do a up. third game. Something you don't expect to see when you spy on your neighbors. Fourth, Vote on your devices. Well, seems I wasn't the only one thinking incredibly dark. <laughs> so nice. Grave full of fucking kids. That is amazing. Coming up next, you would never go on a roller coaster called blank. Time to vote. Huh. Yeah, let's go with that one. And the Packers are losing. I just checked the score, so. Yay! Well, at least it's only they're at least they're only down down by six, but still, be nicer. That is a touch closer. Next in line, something squirrels probably do when no one is looking. It's voting time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to assume that uh, somebody was, like, running out of time and got really desperate. <laughs> oh, shit. The desperation fuck 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 actually won. I'm surprised. And next it is the weirdest thing you can buy at the Vatican gift shop. Time to vote. Oh my god. <laughs> well, which one to pick? Um, yeah, let's go with that. Is no more. Let's see the damage. Uh -huh. I'm just crawling on down. This is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled, and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. The last lash prompt is. The sound a tree actually makes when it falls, and no one is around to hear it. Mm -hmm. 
No, dude, I honestly, I honestly don't think that we are getting fucking raided. I just sort of think it's just a couple of fucking re... It's, I think, I think it's just a couple of fucking retards who are just bored and have nothing else, and nothing else to really, to really fucking do. So. Let's see the responses. Give out your votes now. Okay, yeah. Wow, two people weren't able to throw in answers? Seriously, nobody else opted to go for the goofy holler? Shit. Oh damn, I was hoping I'd get a little bit higher. See the final scoreboard. Nice. Good job, dude. All right, once more with all new players. Connecting to the Jackbox page. I'm in. So yes, everybody, if you wish to join in the game, head on over to jackbox.tv. Okay, well, we're now officially out of spots for players, but you can still join in the audience, and the audience vote always counts. So yeah, come on in, guys. Come one, come all. It is quiplash time. Flash is the game. Yep, yeah, yep. I think I already know who the funny one is. Well, we'll see if I'm right. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Let me try to answer this one quick. Um, Okay, so, uh, someone asks, how, how do you join in as a player? You can only get in as an audience member. Well, basically, it's the same process, it's just that the first eight, it's just the first eight people who jump in with the code are made players, and everybody else is made audience, so. Let's take a look. Starting things off, the eleventh commandment, thou shalt not... Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite.
Holy shit, total friggin' split. Nice. Next one. The name of a dog food brand you probably should not buy. Vote on your devices. <laughs> Okay, I really, really like both of those, but uh, yeah, there was one that I, that just kind of sort of won me over. game. Time to vote. What the shit? All right. attraction in hell. It's voting time. Wow. Alchemist, what's up, pal? Welcome. I'm kind of curious to see how this one here is going is going to be answered. This and this game gets 10 out of 10 for rancid for rancid models. I don't know what I don't know what you are talking about, dude. There also is nothing rancid about the morals of this game. Sure, a lot of people voted for Princess Dies All Night, fucking you know, horatorium. But hey, that really doesn't mean that we're that Next we are morally the worst name for a rap artist. It just means that we're all sick. Time to vote. All right. Zekron, what's up? Swamp. Blank Swamp. Vote on your devices. Okay, I'm gonna have to go one way because the other answer is just ridiculously lazy. Oh, that was your bad attempt at an Enterbot impression. Totally cool, dude. Still, I just sort of felt like playing off it anyway, so, <laughs> oh, you know. Something you wouldn't expect a Ouija board to say. Time to vote. <laughs> and to everybody watching this, I'm probably going to do one final game after this one, so just in case anyone was going to ask. Next in line, you know you're really drunk when... 
It's voting time. Holy shit, really? The Packers score is 23-10? No way. Well, what do you know? Yeah, it is. Shit. Boom! <laughs> That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. God, that, God, that second, that second fucking one, man. Oh, God. I could not come up with, well, actually, I was struggling on both of them, let's be honest, but that fucking second one, uh, I am not proud of my answer. I think somebody else was stuck okay, on that very same shit bag, shit now, bag question. Is a good place to hide boogers. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Oh dear God! Oh shit! I wow. That one actually made me made me made me kind of sick a little. Just uh, <clears throat> wow. Just, I did not need that image in my head. Whoever the fuck typed typed that, you are a horrible person. One man army, you are a terrible human human fucking being. <laughs> oh shit! And next, name the next big sexually transmitted disease. Vote on your devices. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, shit. Sky blue. Time to vote. Well, holy shit. Um. <laughs> I'm really curious about how this one is going is going to swing. Aw dead. Coming 
up next, the real reason the dinosaurs died. Load on your devices. So there's a question in, in the chat. How is, how is, you know, Moose, my, my friend Steven? Um, I don't know. I, I really haven't had the opportunity to talk with him in quite a while. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to try to catch up with him because sadly I haven't, I really haven't had the opportunity to talk with him in a while. So. Next one, the name of a hairstyle that will never catch on. It's voting time. What the hell? Uh huh. Shit. I, I, wow. I, I really don't know which which you know one of these to go with. Actually, I kind of sort of do because the other one unfortunately has kind of sort of become a thing. <laughs> Next up, the worst excuse for showing up late to work. Time to vote. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with this one. Uh... <laughs> So someone's asking if I reached my GoFund my my goal on GoFundMe, and I did. To everybody who pledged, I thank you. You guys are you guys are as always fucking amazing. And if you still and if you still want to pledge, by all means, go ahead and pledge. Because okay, next because one. every Sunday Something helps. they will probably never make a series of commemorative stamps for. Let's see. Vote on your devices. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with this one. You see, and as and as for that last one, I opted to go with I was fucking this dog I saw uh, across the street because the first one's just you just basically like boned up on your own dog. The other one was like, you were going to be on time, and then you saw this dog who absolutely needed it. So, <laughs> that one there seemed like a far worse fucking excuse, because it just seemed like a, like, impulse thing. And next, name a new movie starring a talking goat who is President of the United States. God, I hated this question. Oh my god, I got it. With a shitty, worthless title. <laughs> That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the scores. I cannot believe I won with Welcome Billy the, the goat who would be the president. Final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. All right. Let's see what the prompt Your is. Your last lash prompt is... A surprising thing to hear in a nature documentary. There we go. And since I keep seeing in the uh, chat people are people are talking about the Packer game, I guess that the one thing I can say is I believe that the reason why the Packers are doing Here's so poorly this season wrote. is because of Hand injuries. So let's see. Huh. 
What the shit? Wow. Uh, as much honestly, now as proud, now as proud as I am of, as, as proud as I am of my answer, I really do kind of like some of these other ones, so. All right, Zacharon, see ya. Yeah, I kind of had to jump in on that one. Again, I really like the Family Guy reference, so I kind of had to throw it in. At least I came in second on, you know, that, that's always cool. <laughs> but yeah, that one there totally, totally fucking took it. And mad, 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 mad props there. There, Patrick, you totally earned that one. That's it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the final scores. Yeah! I am the man. And I got the top answer, too. That is always fun. So. <laughs> Let's do one more game with all new players. All right. Everybody jump on in. I need seven more players and a fuckload of audience members. Dinkle, wait, do we really have a Dinkle fucking bird playing? Cool. And we also have Keem, we also have Keem the fucking gnome. I'm digging that. Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Yes, that Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. <laughs> Remember, guys, during this game, it's natural to fall in love with me. Fight the feeling. Let's go. <laughs> this is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go. All right, let's do this. That second one, that that second answer, I'm, uh, <laughs> wow. I really hope that I win on that second answer, otherwise I'm going to feel incredibly foolish. Anyway, let's, let's see, let's see how the rest of this goes. Come on there, guys. We've got two more. 20 seconds remaining. Okay, here we go. The first prompt is a bad name for a brand of bottled water. Okay, pick your favorite.
Am I am I going Richard Richard Pryor level of dark? No, no, no. It's not that it's dark. It's just that it's a little bit out of my fucking character. Let's just say. Coming up next, what to say to get out of jury duty? It's voting time. And the Family Guy reference, reference wins it. <laughs> Awful lot of honkies in there. <laughs> Next up, make up the title of a movie that is based on the first time you had sex. Time to vote. Surprising purchase on Willy Wonka's credit card statement. It's voting time. Yeah, one of these honestly is not that is not that, you know, shocking personally. Alright guys, take care. I actually that we got two people leaving. So Yeah, I was just, just about to say, you know, the Coke honestly is not a big big shock because, you know, he has to keep the fucking he has to keep the fucking he has to keep the fucking oompa loompas happy Next happy one, somehow, so an item on every load him up on grocery list. Of Coke. Vote on your devices. All for me, all for God's sake. Both of these, I should mention, are really good answers. Just, uh... Wow. Polanski wins. Next in line, something fun to scream when you win in a game of bingo, other than bingo. Time to vote. See, both of these have gone for the more street, more street urban feel for the what to shout instead of bingo. <laughs> Sweet, it actually got me. Woo! <laughs> and next is worst material with which to make a snowman. It's voting time. Oh my god. Holy shit. Um I don't know which one to pick. Oh god, let's just yeah. Oh, no. 
Next up, life would be so much better if we all lived in blank. Time to vote. See, I kind of had to vote that way because I've never heard of fucking, I've never heard of fucking Pinocchio the Bridge. Whatever in the hell that was. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. It's a f so so fucking Kanoha Village is like a fucking like is a fucking like uh, is fucking like Naruto thing. Gotcha. Holy shit. Um... I'm just gonna have to just do that, just, just get to the next one. Yeah, that first one really sucked. This show. First up, invent a family friendly replacement word that you could say instead of an actual curse word. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. <laughs> For a second head that sprouts on your shoulder. Vote on your devices. All right, dude. See ya. And we have another member, and we have another person leaving. Totally cool. Wow. Okay, next one. A sign you probably shouldn't put up in your yard. It's voting time. You know, both of these are really good, but, uh, yeah, I kind of had to lean, lean towards one of them. Yeah, it kind of seems like everybody would not be happy with it. Conrad McMurray is... Yeah, that's just wow. Just 
Coming up next, a prank the Supreme Court justices probably play on each other. Time to vote. So I should try to explain this a touch. That was the first question that popped up that popped up for me. I was drawing a total, total blank. About 30 seconds had passed, and I Excellent. just threw that. The so. biggest downside to living in hell. Vote on your devices. Hmm. Both of these are definitely awful, but uh, I think one of them does sort of stand out. It's just a little bit worse. And apparently, and apparently, I was, I was, I was wrong. I, I personally think that if you had to walk around hell with a shit cake to ass, okay, that'd be a lot one. worse than being forced to watch hot dogs taste so films. good. It's voting time. Huh. you would hear at a chess meet. Vote on your devices. <laughs> All right. Wow, that one there was definitely a, a split. And next is what FDR meant to say was we have nothing to fear but blank. Time to vote. see how this one goes. Sweet! And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. Let's see, I was in third. Let's see how far down I've fallen. Down to fourth. All right. I gotta hope for this third fucking now, round to round be, three, to be the perfect. last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Our last lash prompt is a brand name for a medication that intentionally causes male impotence. Oh, 
All right. For the final game of of the evening, let's see how this goes. And here's what you did. Vote away. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh man, I was sort of hoping that mine would have been a little bit higher. Boner away almost does sound like a pill that would just immediately cause, you know, like whiskey dick or limp dick, so shit. <laughs> ah well. Final score. Final score. Wow. Un unchanged after after round three. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. So that is so that is so that's the game and that's gonna do it for this for this installment of Let's Play Quick Flash Live. I'd like to thank you guys for all for all coming out. And if you want to join in on this next time, um, I am going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing this regularly on Saturday nights. So you guys can totally just come on out on Saturday nights. We'll probably do like this about like hour and a half, two hours. Well, in this case, almost an hour and four. Well, it's an hour and 45 now of Quiplash fun. That's usually about enough to get in about four games, three games, four games, what have you. So, uh, that is going to do it here, and I will see you guys later. So, take care. Peace.